Hey there, so today we have another review. This is actually a local. This is actually from Ravenous Pig. I believe this might be the first bear review from them. Uh, they're based out of Winter Park, which is a neighborhood in the Orlando area. Um, it's sort of like a, like Soho or West Village. It's like, oh, is that the best analogy? Maybe. Um, it's like, quote unquote, like the nicest part of town, right? Uh, the most the nicer restaurants well i mean we're talking about like outside of disney and like the resorts and all that stuff but um the nicer restaurants and um a lot of culture you know all that stuff it's the one of the, you know one of the nicest parts of town um you have ravenous pig there uh which actually is actually a really delicious restaurant and i highly recommend it um they have a uh, some of the best service i've had really good some of the best food i've had down here and then also they have a full bar and then they actually had a tiny brewery attached to the restaurant but then now they actually have it like 50 100 feet like next door <laughs> so they've actually uh built a um uh, a production space and then they have like a little outside kind of like a beer garden kind of area so i do recommend if you go to winter park um right in the middle of it all and um check it out so this is one of their classic beers uh this is their five points ipa um so they talk about like uh keep it cold blah blah i will say i just picked it up and i picked it up at about about nine weeks old so actually not that fresh right we're talking about like two months plus a week so i guess they probably don't move through that much product um especially for a brewery ideally you'd sell the beer faster than that but yeah i mean it's within three months it's kept cold uh they, they they pull it out of a walk-in so yeah what is this by the way it's a west coast ipa which is actually pretty rare i will say like orlando's actually jumped up to the um to the point where like if i recommend a bunch of like top recommended breweries a lot of them produce hazy ipa i mean it sort of makes sense like you know going with the times but let's dig into this one uh west coast style, style ipa uh not filtered obviously so it does have a haze to it but it comes with that proper color comes with a kind of medium gold color uh medium deep gold a little bit of like a bronze kind of color to it um medium to medium minus haze right i mean Still a little bit opaque, but, you know, unfiltered West Coast IPA. It's going to have this kind of color to it. Uh, the head is slightly off-white. Yeah, smells pretty familiar. It has a little bit of that crystal malt sweetness. Um, pine, a little bit of grapefruit. A um, little bit easily dank. The fruitiness is pretty light, but mostly just like grapefruit, orange peel, blah, blah. But yeah, refreshing pine green forest, a um, little bit of like a piney resin character, but mostly green. Yeah, that kind of just familiar West Coast flavor cheers. Mm, interesting. So um, the beer is quite resinous. Wow, uh, reminds me a little bit of like a, if I had a full blind and you know never, if I've never had this beer before, I would get something. Uh, reminds me a little bit of six point resin. <laughs> More specifically, right? How big is this guy, by the way? Uh, IPA 7.2, so not a big beer, but yeah, almost double IPA. Um, their beer is not necessarily that bitter. Um, yeah, reminds me a little bit of like me Pullman, but yeah, reasonably bitter. So medium to medium plus, definitely not full, but it does linger. It is a lasting bitterness, so definitely uh, probably a de decent early addition. Um, introduces up front goes all the way down um the bitterness has a little bit of soiliness to it right up front flavors um pine soil light bright fruit flavor a little bit of uh, kiss of sweet malt character in the middle a little bit of crystal malt and the soily bitterness on the back end wow um i feel like this would be better if it was fresher hmm, maybe Honestly, uh, it reminds me a little bit of highlight without the fruitiness, if that makes any sense. But then, like, I guess we replace that kind of, like, I guess, I don't know, it's very different beers. But I guess, like, there's not that much West Coast IPA to be had locally. So I guess, like, that's sort of, like, my analogy, even though, like, highlight, I wouldn't really consider a West Coast IPA. It's, like, sort of its own kind of uh, creature. Um, in general, the themes fall on the nose. Green, verdant, um, pine needles. A little bit of pine sap character to it a little bit of this kind of like pine spruce so leaning like even more kind of like uh verdant and green but not all the way where it almost has this like yeah a little bit of the pine needle thing but not all the way uh some beers can be quite quite piney uh, low in fruitiness and then lingering with that that soily earthy bitterness that sort of associate pacific northwest but then the beer is actually um not as lean as some of the Portland beers 
does have a little bit of body and heft to it, not, not as clean and um, skinny, right? Not as dry and like lacking a malt. So it does play a little bit like classic West Coast, a little bit uh, earthy soily, which does do West Coast slash Pacific Northwest as well. So um, really cool. I mean, literally like opposite ends of the country and still pretty much opposite ends, right? You're only down in Florida, um, but still able to produce a uh, solid West Coast IPA. Again, the thing that I generally miss, um, like good examples of like fresh, local, hoppy, bitter IPA. Uh, good example Again, I'm curious if, you know, if it was super, super fresh, how it really tastes, but good beer. Um, hmm. I will say the water treatment's probably the issue here. That's probably what it is. Um, I don't know if they use RO, but uh, from what I understand, actually just work, <laughs> I used to work for a brewery in a winter park um, that no longer exists. Uh, the water is actually quite terrible. Uh, especially, uh, I think, from that area, but like Central Florida in general, it's, it's super hard. Super hard, high in bicarbonate, really meant to me uh, make dark beers, which I guess sort of makes sense if you're making beers like Angry Chair does and uh, sweet, uh, you know, pastry stouts and I guess stouts in general. But uh, not ideal for light beers, hot, hot, light colored beers, hoppy beers, anything else really. Uh, when you have such high uh, minerality um, and uh, mineral content, um, not great for that. So I don't know what they've done to their water, but I possibly suspect that it might not be ideal. Otherwise, it would show and be maybe maybe this beer would show a little bit more crisp, dry, and clean if it had a proper water profile. Maybe anyway, uh, the beer is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna give it a solid uh, ninety. Is that is it that good? I don't know if it's that good. All right, fine. Um, it's fine. Let's go with an 88. I'm cool with an 88. That's this very solid rating. Ravenous Pig, five points IPA. Um, really r wish it had a little bit more complexity to it. Wish it had um, a little bit more fruit character to it. And then maybe a little bit more distinct kind of like hoppiness. And again, I suspect water, but then again, I could be wrong. It's very possible they use RO and that's just the water they use. And uh, RO and they've built up the water and they've actually cleaned out the water from uh, the nasty stuff. <laughs> We're not, sorry, nasty, I don't mean like unhealthy or like dangerous. It's just like, the water is not meant to be brewing light color beer slash hoppy beer. So I don't know what they do with the water. Uh, 88, tasty stuff. Check out Ravenous Pick, delicious restaurant. And also, they also have a full tap list. I mean, I think when I visited there, it was 12 beers. And I uh, definitely need to try more. I just stopped by, just pick a four pack. And actually, good price for four packs, too. I believe it's like they're about $11, $12. So $12 for a four pack is very, very reasonably priced compared to most breweries doing 16 flat, 18, 20, 22, blah, blah. So cheers. Later.